Okay, Derek, I consider you the Utah Lake solo sailor. I imagine that you have more hours out here alone than anybody else. And maybe that's just because you don't have any friends. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's, I call this therapy. It's cheaper than a doctor. So tell me about your boat. Where, where'd she come from? What condition she was in? Kind of describe that whole process. So, so this boat, it's a 77 O'Day 27. And I bought it locally from one of the other sailors in our community. He never did anything with it except for bring it from Nevada. He found this boat out in the desert in Henderson. And this boat sat out there on the hard on its trailer for, oh man, probably like 15 years or longer. Like it was out there on its trailer for a long time. But the history of the boat goes back to um, California. The boat actually resided uh, in Dana Point originally. It was bought in Nevada, but then taken to California from the O'Day dealership in Las Vegas. Eventually that boat, the, or the boat moved to Lake Mead with a different owner. And I guess from what I learned from who I bought it from, it was in a sailing school at the time. When I got it, it was in really, really rough shape. Um, had cracking on the hull down right by where the strut for the motor and propeller shaft is. Um, the rudder was warped out from water damage getting inside of it. Um, I did basically a full restoration on the boat. I mean, everything from the entire interior was redone. The hull was repaired and repainted. The motor got changed out. It had an atomic core, got put. Uh, that was totally trashed. It was um, no good. So I pulled that out, put a diesel motor in it. Um, new rigging, new sails. And then it took me about two years to restore during COVID. I was working from home and I had downtime. I'd come out and work on boat projects. Um, so it took me about two years and um, it's been freaking awesome ever since. First, first year I had it launched, we took first place in the regatta. So that was pretty cool. What do you love about being on the lake by yourself? Uh, you know, like I said, it's I call it therapy for me. Being out here um, and just focusing on sailing the boat at the best that my ability and the best that the boat can handle it. Um, it's always, it's like playing a game of chess with nature. Uh, you know, retrimming the sails and just fine tuning them. And I find it very calming as well as challenging at the same time. And that's kind of what does it for me. I, I like to come out and solo sail the boat and just kind of get it into its groove. And then once it gets into that groove and you know, we're going fast, like we are doing pretty good now. Like it's just awesome, you know, it's just that experience, the thrill of, the thrill of uh, just sailing it, you know, and being part of that experience. Not to mention the scenery is really nice out here. What would you say has been your best sailing accomplishment this year? I think for accomplishment, I think for me, like one of the big things that I really focused on this year was trying to go around more of the lake and not just be set in one area of the lake. Um, one thing that I really love about this boat that I didn't say before is like you can put a lot of miles on this boat really easily and efficiently and so I found that when I would sail this boat it wasn't much for me to go to like Linden from Provo or from Linden go from here to Linden up to American Fork and back to Pelican you know and so this year I would say my accomplishment that I've really enjoyed is just going around more of the lake like you know utilizing a bigger square area than I used to with with the, my other boat so so along those lines so you've completed your circumnavigation this year what was that like it was so we did it in 25 hours it started out really slow like a slog up to Linden and then the next morning we had a pretty decent sail it was we it's weird because this lake throws like in that 25 hour window, I could honestly say that I had every type of condition that this lake can throw at me. You know, we had a really slow start. I got to Linden 
lightning and, and rainstorm out of nowhere, you know? And it's like, where did this come from? We got off, we got into the marina just as that had happened. And then the next day, it's like, we had light winds, we had medium winds, and then at the end of the day, it cranked up to 25 knots around Bird Island. And so, you know, just being a part of that, like getting every, like this lake is so quick to change um, the conditions. And so that was one of the cool things, I guess I could say about the circumnavigation is I can say, you know, I kind of got all of it. And, and I even got to fly my spinnaker too. So that was kind of cool on one of the legs. So. I got to utilize the boat for in, in every single way on that one circumnavigation. That was pretty cool. What are your future sailing aspirations, goals? Well, I always have one foot itis, but you know, uh, my goal is to do more chartering. Um, obviously keep sailing this boat as much as possible. Uh, travel more, go to more destinations, but, you know, also keep honing in my skills all the time. Um, I'd really like to win next year's regatta. It'll be the third year on this boat that we've done it. Um, yeah, probably. 